Hey guys, Matt Pridham here with an iSnipe video tutorial. Today we're going to go over the basics of iSnipe. We'll check out loading some factory ammo from our database and then we'll go ahead and do a quick compute. Let's get started. Alright, so here we have the new layout of iSnipe 3.0. And you'll see right up at the top here we have round and we've got no ammo selected. Let's go ahead and load some ammo in. It brings us to the factory ammo and uh, we have plenty of calibers to choose from. I can scroll down here just so everybody can see the length of this list. Alright, let's go ahead and load some uh, 308. Sorry for the jumping around there. 308 Winchester. And uh, we'll load my favorite ammo, the Lapua Skeener, 155 grain. And we'll go ahead and set up a rifle quickly. And we'll change the windage clicks to 1 8th and leave the elevation at a quarter minute. Uh, Sight height is 1.5, we're good. We'll go ahead and save this in our rifles section. And we'll set up our shooting range quickly. and angle to target. Uh, we can leave it zero. Max range 2000, step size 10, that's perfect. Go ahead and save that. Now we have uh, all our required info there. We can take a look at our daily variables. And uh, let's go ahead and get this data from the internet. There we are. And we'll change this to Celsius and apply. And from here we can just go ahead and compute we get our list here. We can choose any of these values and have a look, a closer look. Let's say 620. Here we have the details view with the mil dot reticle and showing the holdover for this particular distance. We have the windage necessary to uh, correct for this shot as well as the elevation. Uh, the path of the bullet were approximately 93 inches uh, below our, our starting point and the lead if we have a moving target we could go ahead and adjust for a moving target down here and that adjusts in our uh, windage correction as well as in the reticle uh, we can click anywhere in this lead box to reset it to zero and we can go up and check out um, the path on a graph here and see our specific moment in time as well as our velocity and energy remaining and we can also change the corrections from minute of angle to mil as well as uh, the clicks we have set up for this particular rifle. And that's the basics. Check out our other videos to see more iSnipe features in action. Thanks for stopping in and we'll hope to see you next time.